beautiful space. What is it that you're trying to achieve here? So Station F is the world's biggest startup campus. We have 1,000 startups working here from around the world. So we're really trying to make uh, entrepreneurship more accessible to everyone. Particularly in France, and there seems to potentially be a bit of a perfect storm with Macron, <laughs> the president, Indeed. also trying to ensure that entrepreneurship is, is a key driver in France as well. Yes, I think actually it was timed perfectly. So we opened less than a year ago, so literally one month after Macron became president of France. Um, the French ecosystem has kind of been building momentum for the last few years, so it wasn't something that happened overnight, but Macron has really made it uh, a wonderful place to do business, and I think we see that in the number of international entrepreneurs that choose to be based here. Xavier Neal is the person, of course, who's funded the creation of this. He is the man behind Iliad. He is a billionaire in France. When are we going to see more billion-dollar companies come out of France? Because there's been but three. That's a very good question, and I think um, we're hoping a lot of them will be created, obviously, here on campus. Um, as you mentioned, there are three today that are really kind of gaining a lot of momentum and that we see growing. I think one of the problems that we often say we have in France is that the entrepreneurs don't know how to say no. So um, I think Xavi often jokes that, you know, you have companies in the U.S. that when they get a really interesting acquisition offer, they actually turn them down. Uh, great examples, for example, Snapchat and what have you. So I think we really want to see the same thing happening here. Entrepreneurs not afraid to say no. So it's about ambition levels to take their company independent, to keep it independent, to take it public instead. What can the government do here in France a little bit more to foster that sort of growth? We've got Macron meeting with, gov with technology leaders from all over the world at the moment. He's sitting down with Satya Nadella, sitting down with Dara Kosmashahi, sitting down with Blah Blah Car, which is one of the billion dollar companies here in France. What can he do to make it even better? I think that's a great question. Um, I think we've seen a lot of great changes already been made. Uh, a few years ago, we were talking a lot about funding. Today, I think there's no more, no longer a funding problem in France. We talk a lot about tech talent. Uh, France today has a lot of leading engineers. So I think a lot of the resources are actually here. Today, what we're missing perhaps is a great exit market mm -hmm. and funding to really take it to the next level. So I think we, when we talk about growth funds, um, they're still quite scarce in France. That's something actually you probably see across all of Europe. But I think that's probably where the government should focus next. And what about corporates investing? Of course, Xavier Neal has done this from the goodness of his heart to a certain extent. But are we seeing, you used to work with Microsoft on their accelerator, are we seeing corporate money come into France to help foster that growth of the next generation of tech? We're seeing a ton of corporates. I think today every corporate on the planet wants to work with startups is actually making some type of an investment, whether it be through a venture fund uh, or another type of investment actually being on the ground helping startups. That's what we see here on campus with Station F. One third of the, of the programs that we have here are actually run by corporates. And there's a huge appetite for it. But I think it's really about um, being smart and not having a commercial uh, way of working with the startups, but really creating something of value. So I think that's, that's where the emphasis should be. Macron's also talking about tech for good, the responsibility of technology. We've got Mark Zuckerberg in Paris today, really trying to, in, in front of the European Parliament yesterday, trying to explain the ramifications of privacy. What, how are you talking to startups to ensure that the companies grow at scale but still keep ethics and, indeed, the law of unintended consequences to a minimum? So I think the Facebook and, uh, and Cambridge Analytica scandal actually made everyone aware that it doesn't just relate to startups that are social uh, in social innovation or uh, that type of field. It actually concerns all startups from any sector. Um, so I think actually Facebook in many ways changed the discussion. Uh, today a lot of the companies that we have on campus are just naturally thinking about how can we be more responsible. Um, and so it's something that actually the ecosystem is kind of, it's kind of maturing, it's kind of asking itself these questions.